We got a recluse clutch. Yes, we have a beautiful, shiny bunch of stickers. Brand new recluse clutch kit. It's gonna make a huge difference in how this thing drives. So a recluse clutch essentially makes your dirt bike into a semi-automatic transmission. So you still have to shift gears manually, but you no longer need the clutch to shift or to take off and stop. Um, so it automatically engages and disengages the clutch when you give it gas. That's gonna be really handy for us for, it, for the Jeep because there's a lot less likelihood of stalling it um, and we can crawl slower. It's just gonna be absolutely ideal. Lightest Jeep engine in history. Probably the most frequently pulled too. Time to take out the old clutch and put in the new. So for anyone who hasn't ever seen a motorcycle clutch, they're pretty cool. Um, they got this whole stack of, pl of uh, friction discs and um, plates. So when you disengage the clutch, it lifts that piece up and re releases the pressure from the, from the discs and they just spin against each other. Start installing all the shiny new recluse parts. It's got this fancy adjustment ring, which I haven't read what that's about yet, but I'm sure it's for adjusting the free play and pressure and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the clutch discs soaking in oil, which is part of the instructions. All right, guys, time to take a quick break and talk about our sponsor for this video, Roman. Two thirds of guys experience noticeable hair loss by age 35. Some guys might miss the signs of thinning hair, and some guys even assume that losing their hair as they age is inevitable. But what they may not know is that there are FDA approved solutions for hair loss that may even regrow hair. That's why we're excited to partner with our sponsor, Roman. Roman makes it convenient to access a US licensed physician and get a personalized treatment plan, all from your phone or computer. If your doctor decides that treatment is right for you, Roman's dedicated pharmacy can ship your treatment to you with free two day shipping. If you want to stop or prevent hair loss, starting treatment early is key. With Roman, you can find the best approach to help you keep and even regrow the hair on your head. Roman is giving new members a free online visit and a month of treatment free at getroman.com ghpc. Now, back to working on Cinderella. And they really spend a lot of time making everything look really good, even though it's on yeah, the even inside it's of your Yeah, completely covered up, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Time to put on the prettiest, shiniest part. This beautiful cover. Which, yeah. sadly, no one will really be able to see once it's installed. Here's our valve cover bolt. It goes here, and it's very stripped. So it's a fancy bolt with this shoulder thing on it so that it bottoms out on there before tightening too much. And it's got this big wide thing for the gasket that goes on there. So it's exactly the same now. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. They're on there pretty good. Yep. New threads are solid. Perfect. Looks good in there. It's the cleanest the engine's ever been. Yeah, I think so. Every time I take it apart, I spend a little more time cleaning it and get some of the crusted on grime off of there. The time has arrived, and so have the parts, to upgrade Cinderella's front suspension. Oh, look at that glorious, glorious thing. It's already pink even. Yep. Another set of our favorite uh, thing to rob parts from, snowmobile shocks. Now we can... Uh, redo the front suspension with these. All the same, they're basically the same shocks as the rear. They're just 
from an older Polaris back in the days when pink was a color you put on power sports. Unfortunately, we're gonna just get rid of these shocks. I love the way they look in there, it's super unique, but they just, they cause a lot of problems. Um, first off, they're not stiff enough. They don't provide enough uh, spring rate or damping. This arm tilts forward and back a bit as you drive and it rattles and bumps, and that means that the caster is changed as you bounce around, which is a very bad thing because caster is important for stability and that's what makes this so unstable at higher speeds is the caster actually goes positive, negative, whichever way, the way you don't want it to go. so I can mount this shock. I'm gonna try out a few different positions for the optimal geometry, I don't know. I mean, obviously there's not a lot of play, or not a lot of room for uh, different angles, but I'm not, I'm gonna, I wanna find out whether I'll get more travel out of it if I have it mounted out here but angled in, or if I have it mounted inboard a bit but more vertical. I got uh, in the zone last night and was out here working till nine o'clock, but I made a really sweet shock mount for this side. Um, now I have to replicate it on the other side, but um, it's got the bolt just going through here. The nut is welded on the inside there, so you don't have to try to thread it on. All right, first step of the process, make some washers because I don't have any washers that are the right size and heavy duty enough. So, take uh, the largest punch here in the piranha. We've got the start of two nice heavy duty washers. Now we have a couple of uh, nice heavy duty eighth inch thick washers that are the right size for the bolt and the right size for a piece of one inch tubing to weld to. Got some serious shenanigans going on. Yep. Trying to get this in the right place. Now we're gonna bounce on over to the Ethan cam for some notching. I'm measuring the caster. It may not be perfectly actually level to the way the vehicle sits, but I don't really care. I just want to make sure I get it the same on both sides. So I've got a level zip tied here, a nice straight piece of steel zip tied here, I've got a level here, and then I've got the uh, protractor level to uh, get the actual angle of the spindle. Probably not 100% perfect, but again, it's going to be close enough. Back at it, another day, just a few more things and she's ready for a drop test. Yeah, uh, I really just have to finalize the shock mounts on both sides. This one I actually have to move it a tiny bit. I got it too close and the spring just barely rubs there and we don't want any rubs, so I'll just scoot that back out a little bit and then make them both the same and weld a few things up and then we can set it on the ground and see how it looks. And First we'll travel it without the springs in there just so we can see the full travel and then we'll put the springs on and see what it feels like. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's a whole different ride now. Yeah, it looks totally different. And it's uh, actually quite stiff. steering adjusted so that that um, at the bottom travel it's almost zero tow and then as it travels up it'll tow in a little bit which should also help with stability. Well it's just now turning into hot days here in North Idaho. And where we're going for this TV show it's very very hot. Like 100 degrees hot. Yeah so we need a radiator fan. The old CRF450s don't have any sort of extra power coming out of the uh, stator. We need our radiator fan to work, so we're stealing battery here off of the scooter. Borrowing it. Borrowing it. Time to break in the recluse. We just gotta start it up, rev it halfway ten times, and then we'll start rolling into first gear ten times, second gear ten times, and then we're good to go. That's the longest wheelie yet by far. <laughs> See that? I drifted that in second gear and then just gave it a little more gas and just wheelied out of it. <laughs> Does it just feel more controllable because of the more controllable because of the clutch or the suspension? Everything. The clutch helps immensely. It's really mostly the suspension that makes it more controllable. Um, it's definitely stiff. It's too stiff. Like it's fine on this kind of stuff, but if you go over big bumps, it's a little bit brutal. That said, I'd rather have that than too soft at this point. Like. It's fine. But yeah, the steering just works immensely better um, at low speeds and high speeds. Yeah, with the suspension, like before you let off the gas and it would just kind of go all over the place, that doesn't happen at all now. It's absolutely <laughs> perfect now. Those are the most gnarly wheelies that have ever happened on this property. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> They're awesome. You were wheeling like from that tree till past this corner. Yeah. The only reason why you put it down is because you had to turn. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That was original level of fun. Uh, and then there was upgraded rear axle level of fun, which was way better. It was so much more comfortable, easier to drift, just everything better. Uh, now between the recluse, the exhaust, and the new suspension, it's like, it's not even the same machine. It's just a whole nother level of incredibly awesome. <laughs> 